um, hope everyone's having a cracking day. So today we're going to cover assassin bugs. Um, haven't done anything on them for a long time, and a few people have been asking about them now. Um, so yeah, I thought we'd uh, do some bits and pieces, get some feed in, do really basic stuff. I don't really get into the whole care sheet thing because someone's always going to try and pick holes in it, and I just can't be bothered arguing with people or correcting and blah. If you want to get a decent care sheet, there's plenty of decent videos out there on other channels or get yeah, guides on anywhere on the internet you'll find tons of stuff i'm happy to ask questions but i'm not going to do care guide videos um i just can't be asked if i'm perfectly honest but we're going to get some nice footage today hopefully get some nice feeding videos um i'll go through all of my colonies if i can harder i'm not too sure because it is an absolute pain to get to um but the others i'll uh, definitely get hold of and uh, get some stuff done so Hopefully we'll get some nice videos done today and hopefully everybody enjoys it. Uh, please ask any questions. I have no trouble answering questions. I actually love getting questions. It keeps me busy. Um, yeah, just fire away below and um, I'll get back to them as soon as I can. So without further ado, let's uh, crack on. We'll start with the most commonly found. This is Pubigutatus, the white spot assassin bug. This is my small breeding colony. I can't remember how many adults. There's only about six I think in here at the moment but there's a quick glass he's doing where I've been spraying it in the heat. But basically it's just a little bit of cork bark on the side. A few things for them to climb around on. Um, I find any babies that hatch in here tend to get they tend to like hide up in these knotted pieces of uh, wood here and the adults just sit in the uh, cork bark sheet they'd all be underneath here maybe I think there's one down here might just be able to see it there's one just there um, so what I'm going to do in a minute is give them some feed um, try and get some nice feeding shots of them for you guys and then we'll go on to the uh, next colonies I have we have uh, a few different species here at the House of Bucks. <laughs> what on earth are you doing? And the roaches go away. You don't see that very often. Uh, what on earth are you playing at? You lost your lunch. I bet you're pretty bummed out now, dude. Right, we're we'll trying to give you something different. I think this one's nursing a bit of a dodgy leg. No idea what it flipped, though. Don't drop it this time. Plonker. Yeah, he's missing the back section of his leg. Strange, I've not noticed that. Give them more of a bit of a feed. So you can see some of them dying around. Enjoying their food. Some of them not hungry for some reason, which is unusual. Usually they're pretty voracious with their food. See the venom's pretty fast acting. That's this is the one with dodgy back leg. That roach is already 
game over. Right, we're going to the next colony of spe and different species now and uh, see what we can capture today. So just as I was trying to pack this away, I noticed, I don't know if you can really see, but just here is a nymph. And I saw this roach was going absolutely ballistic, I completely missed the recording, it's running around the entire setup. And it had this little guy actually attached to his head. So this little roach, uh, sorry, this little nymph here, he's got to be L2. So he's quite small, quite young. It's actually just taken down an adult female red runner. That dude is a champion. I didn't even know there was any baby in here. I usually take them out. Some better footage of the nymph finding a weak spot in the roach's armour and just having a good old chow. What an absolute monster. <laughs> okay, definitely go on to the next colony this time. Right, so setup number two. Now this is Platymeria species Mumbo. Now these are commonly known as the orange spots for obvious reasons. Now these have literally just started maturing for me. I've got what can be, I think there's a couple of adults in here so far. There's six in total in here. Um water dish. I've started adding water dishes. Um, I never used to. I used to find they used to drink really well off just droplets off the wood, the sides of the enclosure and such. But by spraying the sides of the enclosure, you create water markings. And I've been finding springtails, nymphs and adults just climbing using the uh, water markings as a anchor. And my horrider setup, which is, I'll get to a bit later, but it is up uh, that fish tank up there, has a dodgy lid. Now I'm sure you can see where this is going, but I found one wandering across my floor one day, and since then, th things with not 100% lids get water bowls and nice clean sides <laughs> but um, we'll come back to these guys I'm going to get some food out and then we'll try and get some feeding shots like last time um, water bowl will need topping up this heat but as you can see it's just crawling with springtails making the most of it I add springtails to every single one of mine because as you can see just by looking around at the floor it's not too bad in this one Look over there. It's just bits and pieces of just dead stuff everywhere. And yeah, I do. <laughs> that and that is an ooth from a red runner roach. It's obviously dropped it in a panic. I'll remove them. I don't really. Actually, no, I'll leave it in there because they can help feed the young when they start hatching. Circle of life and all that jazz. But yeah, we can see they just leave carcasses everywhere so springtails do a pretty good job of keeping away mold i've never had a mold issue in any of my assassin bugs as of yet so it seems to work quite well so yeah we'll be back shortly and we'll try and get some good feeding shots of these guys
finally someone took them. They're not looking too hungry today. Yeah, that's the third adult I've seen now, so that's really good news. Hopefully we'll get um, some breeding these going and get some fry around in the UK or in Europe. These are really, really lovely species. If you can hear that banging around, I apologise. It's food realising it's about to be eaten. It's starting to panic a bit. These seem to be a lot smaller. Well, I say a lot, a bit smaller as adults than the white spots. Oh, see you later then. But yeah, a bit, a bit smaller in size, but just as uh, hungry usually. I say that. This one's obviously not, not hungry. I'll just chuck some food and they can pick up as a leisure. That's what I usually do. I don't usually hand feed or anything like that, as I'm doing today, or tongue feed. I just launch it in there and let them crack on but yeah no babies for this yet i'm just going to do the water and then we'll go on to the next colony of species we have so something a little bit different not all of most of you would have seen these unless you're stateside because he's a na native over there this is the wheel bug assassin and i'll i try my absolute best to breed these but they are super difficult to get going um, I had six I believe and I'm down to just them my last pair and I've decided just to co have them just to see what happens now um, they've been in here for about a month now together both feeding well and tolerate tolerating each other they're not a communal species these are solitary species usually they will fight and cannibalize if kept in colonies it's just not the way they are. Um, I believe their class is a new world species of assassin bug, but I whether or that's whether that's correct or not, I do not know. But we'll see if I can get them to feed. They usually don't feed on demand for me. They're quite awkward, but they are very very pretty assassin bug. And this is the female, and that is male, both matured. We'll see if I can get them to feed. No, just running away from it. Unfortunately, as expected, neither of them ate. So we just have to settle with a little bit more footage, unfortunately. But you can see why they're called the wheel bug. We could before she moved. They have a crest on the back. But, and we'll leave these two back and um, check on the, the next colony we have. Right, so in here we have red spot assassin bugs now these I believe are Radamanthus um, they're not mature yet they're not far off I think now but these are like super active this is the most active colony I have they're always running around just going absolutely loopy again tons and tons of debris there's six I think in here as well they will eventually get a larger setup once they start maturing out like the others have but these won't be need feed they were fed recently so they won't feed so I'm not going to try tonight um, all that's left now is the horrider, which again don't need feeding, but I'll try and get some shots of them for you. It's really awkward to do because, like as I've said, it's quite high up in the corner. Yeah, 
and uh, yeah. I actually got ladders to really look down into it, so we'll see if I can get some side shots for you, but if not, I might have to disappoint you or leave the horror out today. But So yeah, that's the, all the species we have here to, at the moment. Um, we are attending the Western Invert show in a week tomorrow. So we'll see if anything special comes up. I'm hoping to pick up some more true spiders to add to what we have here. Yeah, that's uh, that's the assassin bugs.